Hey guys, Shea Bear 1000. Today we've got a couple different products we're going to try out for the chainsaw. And I thought you guys can review these items with me. Stay tuned, we'll be right back and check these things out. Okay guys, first thing we've got here, we've got a multi-mix pre-mixed gas and oil. It's, it's ethanol free and it's ready to use and it's 40 to 1 and 50 to 1 to cycle fuel. Okay, now I usually mix my saws depending when I was in Ohio, I would mix it uh, 50 to 1 in summer and 40 to 1 in the winter but I'm down here in Florida so I usually mix them about mix uh, my saws and weed eaters about 40 to 1 so this should be alright we're going to give it a shot and see how it runs with this stuff now, if you guys remember from the last video on the chainsaw not my very last video but the video on the on the Poland chainsaw uh, you know the chain was really dull on it so I've got this. This is just one uh, cheap Trilink. Uh, it's a chain sharpener. It's, it's just a file. Now I don't really need the guard, but I could have got the uh, two files for like four dollars. This was like seven something, but I don't have a handle for the files, and they didn't just have a handle. So I went ahead and got this. I figured it'd be good enough to show you guys how to use uh, this. It's not, it's not a guard, it's a gauge. I'm sorry. It's a gauge. I figured it'd, it'd be a good video to show you guys how, how to sharpen your chain with one of these. Save you a little money from having to have it sharpened all the time or going to buy a new uh, $20 chains all the time. So, but uh, I, I prefer a chipper chain on certain things, but we're just going to try these two items and see because I've got to cut some legs off of a, a, uh, a garden like a garden planter thing that I built for monkey so I gotta cut the legs off it's too tall for her she changed her mind after she told me how tall it was going to be uh, when she saw how tall it was she said it was too tall so which I told her it was going to be but anyway we're going to cut the legs off of that and we'll see how well this does alright so let's get the saw up here and uh, I'll show you how to sharpen these sharpen this chain Looks like we're going to have to adjust the chain a little bit too. Now the chain, it doesn't look too bad. I think it just needs sharpened. It feels pretty good. Uh, now on these chains, there's actually two sides, okay? Two cutting sides. You got this cutting side right here. And here is the cutting edge. Now this actually when this comes when this comes around to the end of the bar that's what knocks your um, that's what spits out your sawdust. Damn it, every time. That's what spits out your sawdust. And then you got this side, you've got a right side and a left side of this chain, okay? Now these look like they may be about uh, what 30 degrees, 30 degree angle. But what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, we're going to sharpen this chain, and then, and then I'm going to, uh, let me get this turned around. Then, we'll uh, adjust this chain, we'll slide the bar out, what you do there. Is you loosen these two nuts and you take a standard head uh, screwdriver and you turn it and that pulls that out and it tightens it up. But whoever remember if you guys remember when I started working on this thing, that thing was way too tight, so they may have stretched the chain a little bit. But that's no big deal. We'll go ahead and uh, tighten it up. 
But let me see if I can get you a better angle here. First, let's get this opened up. There's uh, pretty good instructions on the back. It's for a 530 seconds chain. Let's go ahead and open this up. Now, if you don't do a lot of cutting, this file will last you a long, long time. Probably the life of the, the chainsaw. And then you just, uh, just put that in there. Just like that. Okay? Alright, now you got all these little marks here of which degrees you want it. There's uh, zero degrees, and then you got 25, you got 35, and uh, you got 30. Over here is 30. So what you're going to want to do, if you want it 30 degrees, so that's 90. Let's see, about, about right here, yes, yeah, so this is a 30 degree so what you're going to want to do, let me see if I can get you up here a little higher. I know this is shiny, but let me get you up here a little higher and zoomed in. Okay, now see right here, you got your 30 degrees. I'm on the wrong. Right here. And you got your sawtooth right there. Right here. And what you're going to want to do, is you're going to want to hold this. See that 30 degree mark? You want that 30 degree line to be even, you know, like pointing towards the chain. See, just like that. See? And you hold that and you just like this. You go forward. You don't you don't go forward and backwards. You just go you just go forward like that. Now you want to find a good spot. Some of these chains will have like a green link in it or a yellow link. This chain does not. But sometimes also you can find where the chain is put together. If not, you can put a mark on it so you know where you started. If you do one tooth, say ten times, you want to do every, every other tooth ten times. Every tooth on this chain. If you go five you know five times then you do every two five times okay so what I'm gonna do but usually you can see you can see where where you have sharpened it alright so I'm not gonna bore you with that I'm not gonna speed it up because that's all I'm gonna do I'm gonna do that then I'm gonna spin it around and then I'm gonna do the other the other T and then we'll get back with you We'll put some of this stuff in, and we'll take it outside and see see how well it does.
As you seen from the clip from the other day, it didn't even want to go through that stump out front. I had to, uh, I fouled each one of them 20 times, so next time, maybe 10, maybe 5, maybe 15, I don't know, but there was a couple teeth a little, a little shaky on it, but I got them cleaned up, so, uh, if I'm cutting all day, every tank of gas, I'll sharpen my chain. Something like this, I'll sharpen it. The first time I, you know, when I get it out again, I'll check it and if it needs it, I'll sharpen it before I even use it. So, always check it before I use it. You should anyway. Like, did I sharpen that? Before I put it away, go ahead and sharpen it every time. Then you get into that, so that way, you don't start up and go to cut something and go, damn, I forgot to sharpen. And then you got to stop and sharpen. Sharpen it every time you get it out and you should be all right. So, there you go. Kind of a, kind of a product review and a how-to. So, the file, it's just a file. Uh, a lot of them wear down quicker than any other ones. But for me, I think it's going to be all right. If not, I can buy two more files for four bucks. So, uh, the fuel, man, it seems to be running pretty good uh, on that fuel. Still needed just carburetor a little bit, but it's running so good, man. Hate to mess with it, so. But you can see it, it cut right through them landscaping timbers like they were nothing, so. All right, guys, I'm going to go for now. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys had a great Easter weekend. And uh, I'll see you soon. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Bye-bye, guys.